welcome back to my channel. I'm in such a great mood today. I'm going to be trying out some new products using some old products. I'm just so pumped for today because me and Matt are going to a wing fest here pretty soon. Like we got to take off here in like five minutes. But I really wanted to do a get ready with you guys and it's a talk through not a voiceover. So I'm actually talking to you guys. And I am using the ColourPop and Zoella Brunch Date Palette. I've had this in my collection for so long, but I've never used it before. So I'm like, I need to break that out. I wanted a more neutral look anyways. So I'm like, this is perfect. It has a bunch of neutrals, but it has a pop of blue, which I wanted to use that blue today, but I forgot. But I just had so much fun just sitting down relaxing, doing my makeup with you guys, chilling, listening to some music later on in the video. You guys will see. But yeah, I just really enjoyed doing this Get Ready With Me and I think I'll be doing more of them more often if that's okay with you guys. It's just, it's more fun that way. Like you guys still get to see me doing my makeup. I tell you a little bit of what I'm doing, but it's just, it's more chill. It's more relaxing. It's more fun. So let me know if you are interested in seeing more of these types of videos and I will definitely do that for you guys. But I hope you guys have a fabulous Monday. But make sure to subscribe down below and yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so let's ignore this hairstyle. You've seen it at the beginning of the video. It is way better, but this is just the process of me scrunching my hair. But anyways, I'm going to go into the eyes first, and the palette I'm going to be using is by ColourPop and Zoella. Zoella? This is the Brunch Date palette, and I've actually had this for quite a while, but I've never used it. I seriously have a whole bin of not even new products anymore. It's just products that I purchased and never used because I have so much makeup. It's just like overwhelming at this point. So I'm like, you know what? I want something neutral, but I want like to use this pop of blue because I have like a pop of blue in my outfit. So I'm like, perfect. We'll do that today. All right. So the first shade I'm going to go into is maple syrup. These are so cute. I love the packaging of this, by the way. And the names are freaking adorable. But it's just a light tan shade. And I'm going to be using that as a transition shade. And by the way, I already did prime and set my eyelids with these two products. I will have everything listed down below like always. Ooh, that's very pigmented. Wow. I had no doubt it wouldn't be pigmented. But I feel like that just gave me so much color at one time. I'm not sure if they specifically changed the formula for this palette or not. But I feel like I get more kick up with this eyeshadow palette than with like other ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. But sometimes when an eyeshadow has a lot of kick up, it also means it has a lot of pigment to it. So that could be why this eyeshadow has a lot of kick up. Just blending that up high because I want this shade to be seen once we start putting other eyeshadows down. So I do kind of windshield wiper motions and I do circular motions just to get a good blend. And my dogs are in the room, so if you hear them chewing on bones, I'm really sorry. It keeps them entertained. Now I think I'm going to go into Mimosa right here. It's just a little bit darker. It is still a brown, but it kind of has a reddish undertone to it. And I'm just packing this on the outer V. And a little bit into the crease. Okay, now I'm just wetting a flat shader brush. I'm gonna try this one. It's called Skinny Latte. I could go for a latte right now. And just applying this to my lid. If you're new to my channel, I have like hooded eyes, so I always like hold down my lashes so I get kind of a better canvas to apply my eyeshadow. Okay, that's not really my vibe right now. I mean, it's really pretty, but I wanted it a little bit more lighter on the actual lid. So I think I'm going to go to Sunny Side Up, which is kind of a even more lighter pink. And just put that on top. See if I can brighten it up. All right, just going back into Mimosa and deepening out that outer V. 
And then just blending out the edges again with maple syrup. Just to deepen it up even more on the outer V, I'm going to go into French Toast. It's like a maroonish brown. And I'm just going to be putting that like along my lash line here. All right, now for the face. And so for a primer, I got a brand new primer. It's so expensive, but... I had to get it. Oh my god, it's such the rave nowadays and I wanted to know what it's all about. It's the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Filter Finish Protective Primer. Look at this box, it's so bougie. I'm so nervous and excited, like look at this. Oh my gosh. So of course you guys have all seen this before, this is a ginormous like almost paperweight and then it comes with like a little medallion thing guys i'm so i got butterflies i've never had this feeling like towards a primer before but this is like 52 dollars guys it's it's hella expensive that's why i'm so like excited and nervous to use it i've heard so many good things about it that i just i had to give it a go people said it smells good though i feel like it smells like sunscreen I don't know how much to take. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I just ruined my perfectly good primer. No, I didn't ruin it. I need to really use it. I pretty much bought it because Casey Holmes like swears by this and she has oily skin like I do. So pretty much anything that she recommends and loves I have to try out because I'm like well she has oily skin so it will probably work for me most likely. Oh yeah you really don't even need that much. I kind of just like smeared it around my face and now I just want to like press it in a little bit. Okay, okay Tatcha. But really though, this is like the most beautiful packaging for a primer that I've ever seen. It's stunning. All right, now for the foundation. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I know I've been using it in the past like two makeup tutorials, but I just, I fell in love with it again. It is such a good foundation. It's kind of like a natural matte finish. It's not like overly matte, so it's not going to dry you out, but it holds all day and it's not dewy whatsoever beat that face oh my gosh i love it when i get foundation on my face it's just like it's coming together i'm looking a little normal getting rid of that red and just discoloration and you know regular skin but for concealer, I am using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, of course. The only concealer that I ever really use, let's be honest. Matt and I are going out of town tonight to a wing fest. I'm so excited. First off, Matt's obsession, not I mean a favorite thing, it's, a, it's an obsession is wings. Oh my god, that guy has had so many wings in his life, it isn't even funny. Ever since we started dating, that's like the only thing that we go out to eat is wings. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it a couple times on my channel like, yeah, we're gonna go have wings tonight. But now there's actually like a wing fest. So all these vendors come together and you have to pay like a certain amount per person and then you can have as many wings as you want, which is so cool. And Matt's like, yeah, I'm totally gonna eat like 50 wings. And I'm like, Cool, I'm probably getting like half five and be done, but okay, let's go. It's honestly such like a waste of money for me to go, but it's just something that we've always like done together. We've always like ate wings together, so I decided that I would go and I think it's just gonna be so much fun, but I think it's gonna be outside, so I really just wanted to do a full coverage face. But I've actually been so obsessed with this powder. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. So I'm going to go apply this to my face and then I will return because my battery is overheating. So I will be right back. Alright, so I actually applied my powder, my contour, and my bronzer. So for my contour, I just used the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. You guys know my obsession with this. I just used this shade right here. Look at that! 
I have never like hit pan that much on a product. Is that insane? That's how much I love it. I have to use that shade every single day. But then I really want to use up this ColourPop product because I have been neglecting it since I purchased it. And I don't even think they make these anymore. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Bronzer in the shade Poolside. So that is my bronzer on my face today. And then I just made another ColourPop order. I'm insane. I need to stay off ColourPop's website like forever. I have enough products to last me my entire life. But in my recent ColourPop haul, you guys seen me purchase these Kathleen Lights and ColourPop blushes. They are a collab. But they had another sale. It was like 25% off, I believe. So I decided to get a lot, a lot more blushes. Really? Who needs this many blushes in their lives? I don't get it. But look at how freaking beautiful they are. I love them. So I just decided to pick up like almost every single color of blush that they have on the website. And I just put them in these Z palettes that they have. But I'm going to be using one of these blushes today. I think I actually want to go into the shade Why Hello. And that's actually a previous one that I already had. I must really like this color. But their ColourPop blushes are so good. Some of them, like this one, takes a little bit more of building up, but honestly that really doesn't bug me because I'd rather have it be built up than like, oh shit, I can't blend that out now because it's too pigmented. Alright, I think I'm actually going to go into another shade. This is in the shade Weirdo, <laughs> and that is what it looks like. It's kind of like a mauve color. Then for highlight, I thought I would just go all out because we're going out of town. I like my highlight to pop. So I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs highlight in Worth the Wait. Oh my god. This highlight is everything and more to me. The best highlight that was ever invented. Oh my god so pretty all right now to finish up the eyes I'm gonna be going into maple syrup the first shade that I started off with on my lids and then mimosa right Oops, right here. And I'm gonna be putting that from my pupil outwards. I don't know how people can't put eyeshadow on their little lash line. I feel like the look is just never complete to me unless you have eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I have to do that every single day. But I'm gonna go put on mascara and falsies and I will be right back. a fun little dance party but anyways back to the get ready with me so I just wanted to tell you guys that I forgot my inner corner highlight so I did go back into this palette and I use the shade champagne toast for my inner corner highlight for mascara I use the Tarte Tardis lash paint mascara and then I put on some falsies and then I put some Mary Kay gel eyeliner on my tight line. Oh yeah, and then I use another ColourPop and Zoella product. This is the Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Little One. I just had this product in one of my monthly favorites and I love it. Zoella and ColourPop really just killed it. I love this palette and this is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Oh my god, I forgot to do the blue on my lower lash line. Oh well, this looks good too. But anyways, this looks like such a boring palette, but I really think it is a really good quality. And if you want just something to use every single day, this would be a really good choice. Plus, 
is so freaking cute. Like, look at this packaging. It has eggs on it. One time you learn, one time you patience. Bacon, eggs. I'm so fucking grateful for my eggs. I had to say bacon eggs because thank you next sounds like bacon eggs to me but I had to do that since they have little tiny eggs on here. I'm so excited about this primer. I don't know what about it is but it just looks like so bougie but seriously I just love how big this is in my hand. Alright that got a little deep. Oh my god I gotta stop. Anyways I really think that this primer made my foundation go on well. I got tested out. I'll be in the sun all day and so it will get a wear test for sure. But I'm just so excited about this primer. It's so freaking cool. I love this packaging. It just feels so bougie. I love it. I gotta stop talking about it. I think that completes this get ready with me. I got my hair all scrunched and cute for tonight and I'm ready to go eat some wings. But I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for me down below. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!